look like Rachel McAdams from Notebook, guys. It's a beautiful day in van life. Love this. I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, what starts off as a cozy edit day turns into a wet t-shirt contest and a two-mile run to close Max Skylight so as not to soak my entire van. Subscribe for daily videos. Good morning from Missoula, Montana. It is quite a disaster in my van this morning. Oh my. Um, I did a live stream yesterday, and now I cannot walk through my van. Got in late last night. You guys want to see where we're at? Oh, I forgot I put my screen up. Maybe before I show you where we're at, I will make the bed. A little bit better. I still cannot really move around my place though. Gonna, yeah, gonna clean up. Oh my god, I keep hitting my hip on this thing in the same place. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> Itty bitty living space. Anyway, let's check out the view this morning. Courtesy of the Cracker Bell parking lot. Oh, I lost. Some things on the ground. Hello, Missoula, Montana. I can't really get out right now. I'm in, I'm about to go to Starbucks mode, so I need to bring those things in with me. Oh my God, how does it get so dirty? So quickly. My screen and blackout curtains go in the door. Just trying to make use of all my storage. Actually, I'm gonna put them both on top because it's kind of hard to reach that with the door closed, I learned. Okay, we're learning. Suicidal clips out here. There we go. Ooh, got some more clips down here. How many clips does one person need? When I stay somewhere, I like to go inside and buy something. That's why I have so many GD Burt's Bees lip butters. Courtesy of Cracker Barrel. I'm gonna go take a Peter, Paul, and Mary and buy some chapstick or tchotchkes. They're in the same area in every store. It's crazy. Chicken poop lip balm. What the actual hell? Should I buy that? I think I need to buy that. Okay, I have to show you what I got. I got goat's milk chapstick. Holy, my lips feel so good. But there's a vanilla bean and then a caramel apple, which I know I'll use a ton of in the fall. It smells so good. So good. Today is the start of a seven day challenge I'm doing with some people on Instagram. We talked about it in yesterday's live video, but if you guys want to join right now, basically we just pick three to six goals to do every morning just to kind of kickstart healthy habits because I've kind of gotten out of all my healthy habits, including exercising, meditating, journal writing, drinking water first thing in the morning, making the bed, and I want to make sure I get 10,000 steps. If I work out, I'll definitely get 10,000 steps in, but just want to make sure. So got my Fitbit on. We're just doing it for seven days and then we'll reassess after a week. Right now I'm heading to Starbucks to edit and upload. I think it's a pretty massive edit. So I'm gonna be there a while but I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. A Starbucks that actually has indoor seating and intranet. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. I've been stuck in towns with no Starbucks. I've been stuck in towns with Starbucks that only have drive through And I've been stuck out in the boonies where it takes about three and a half hours to upload one video. It takes about 10 minutes here at Starbucks. It took about three minutes at my old apartment building. So that's what we're working with. Maybe I'll just sit here all day and upload like nine videos. Um, excuse me, nasty bug of dust. Get out of my oh my gosh. Okay, so I have a billion of these in storage, but I haven't been drinking enough water lately. It's one of my daily goals, and I got a new mug. It's ribbed for her pleasure. Little things like this help me so much to stay on top of my goals, though. This is my water cup. Have to drink a few these days. And then I don't have to buy a bunch of these. I'll just buy the bigger gallon ones and fill it up. 
yes go taking a break it's actually freezing in that starbucks so i'm gonna come sit in my van and edit it's egg bite 30. when i pictured doing van life this is what i pictured it being sitting in my cozy van right outside starbucks being able to use the internet from the van being able to do my edits from the van but every place i've gone it's been so freaking hot or i can't find internet but this is like a true work from home day i am loving every second of it got my dimmer light on made a little brekkie slash lunch i can leave my video in the van to upload while i walk over to planet fitness to work out and shower missoula montana who knew who knew the cracker barrel i stayed at was right down the street this is just all working for me today going on a little walk put your hips into it cindy put your hips into it that's pretty there's my husband's ride. Right now I'm focusing on completing all my daily goals. It's actually really good to get out of the van and get my eyeballs away from the computer. How many steps are we at? We're only at 1,600 steps. That's not very good for 2.40 in the afternoon. I'm probably just gonna walk over to the Cracker Bell and buy some more chapstick, you know. I love this chapstick so much that I wanna give it to everybody for like stocking stuffers at Christmas. It is just delightful. I'll probably go in there and brush my teeth as well cause I have not yet done that today. Ew, I didn't even brush my teeth last night for a bad, disgusting. <laughs> Cracker Barrel loves their country music. I love country when I'm floating the river and during a barbecue. Otherwise, I can physically feel myself losing brain cells when I listen to it. I bought every single scent. It's Dionis, Dionis, Dionis. Goat milk, moisturizing lip balm. Oh my gosh, there's a sweet berry. There is a vanilla. There's a honey one, which I am all about. And then I looked online to see if they had more flavors and they had like a pear, a blood orange, and then a coconut. But they're $5 each online. They're only like $2.50 at Cracker so if I end up using this every single day for the next couple months, then I will go online and I will get the blood orange and the coconut and the juicy pear. Love me some lip balm. Video's uploading. It's gonna take about an hour, so I'm gonna make a salad. I'm gonna bring my salad box and a plate over to the outdoor seating area at Starbucks so we can watch my stuff. Kale salad, poppy seed dressing, pumpkin seeds, goat cheese, and chicken. Who gave you permission to be fabulous? Hi. It's tomorrow, Dana. I just have a little footage I wanna share with you. Oh, F. I'm about a mile and a half from my car. I'm just out trying to get some steps in for the day and I see lightning and my skylight is up. I'm almost to Target, which is my destination, but I think I'm gonna hurry back and close my skylight. We don't want rain all over our bed. Well, Google says we're 40 minutes away. I didn't realize I walked that far. So I guess we're gonna speed walk home. Put your hips into it, Carol's. Shit. This is not good news, it is not. Note to self, always check the weather. Always put the hatch down when leaving the van. Dang it, I wanted to go to Chipotle. I guess we could drive there. I think we're gonna run back home. Really not loving my decision not to wear a bra today. I don't like that for us. Here we go, now we can kill two birds with one stone. Cover the boobies and hold the back. It's officially raining. Damn it. Fuck my whole entire life. too slippery to run. I'm like slipping and sliding and sloshing. Ugh. It was sunny when I left. I don't know what happened. I seriously can't even walk in my sandals. Ew. It's a beautiful day in van life. Love this. Fuck it. I can't with the sandals. I just can't. Ow, 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 Woo. ow, mother ow. Where's my husband? Where is he, Mazula? Are you my husband? No, he's not my husband. Do I look like Rachel McAdams from Notebook, guys? I'm pretty sure I look like Rachel McAdams from the Notebook. Ryan Gosling, where are you, Ryan? I know you're here somewhere. Ryan, please rescue me and make love to me like you haven't seen me in 10 years. Ryan! I'm coming for you, Macklemore. I'm coming. Woo. Oh, these sandals are so slippery. 
God damn it. I'm coming, baby. Are you serious? My freaking hatch is closed. Oh, thank God. I think the wind blew it down. It happens from time to time, but I guarantee you it was up when I left. Do you mean to tell me you went 500 miles in the wrong direction? Just when I thought you could be in dark. You totally redeem yourself. Why did I run all that way back? I could have been in Target. So warm and safe right now. Well, you win some, you lose some. Oh shit, my computer died. Oh, what? I don't even have a husband. Hello. So my hatch is closed, but I don't know how long it has been closed for. So, please. oh shit. Oh, thank you, God. It's not wet at all. Let's just lock that though, for extra measure, because it can blow open. I could be in Michael's right now getting macrame string. That was my mission. I was gonna go get macrame string and I was gonna get sunscreen lotion for my face because regular sunscreen makes them super oily. But that is an adventure for another time, I suppose. At least I have goat milk chapstick to come home to. Oh shit, we have sort of a wet t-shirt contest situation. Way too hot to sit in this car though. So I'm gonna go into Starbucks. Yeah, I'm gonna change my clothes because I am just soaking, sopping wet. Anyways, back to yesterday's footage. I'm heading in to work out for the first time in maybe three weeks. I'm so excited to get back into a routine. You guys have no idea. It's hard for me to go out and do fun stuff when I feel so off in my routine. Like I need a good solid few days of routine and then I can be a little more spontaneous. But I've had like a month of spontaneous. So I need a few days of routine. So these vlogs are gonna be me hanging out in Missoula editing my videos. Just hopping in the back to change into my workout attire. And a one and a two and a one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. These shorts don't fit like they used to. They're not too bad, but not as much breathing room as before. I haven't gained a ton of weight or anything. I just feel a little more flimsy, floppity, bloppity, gloopity, bloopity, squishity, plushity. But we're living that happy with our body life. Every stage of the game, whether we work out or not. You just gotta find the best angles, really. Oh, shit. I just can't take life too seriously. Ow! I think I have a spider bite on my back. I'm pretty sure there are like bugs hiding somewhere in here. It's almost time to take everything out, go through and clean everything, shake out all my clothes, maybe wash them too, but that's gonna take a while. Probably not doing that. I kind of want to do a body before and then a body after. I mean, my body looks pretty good. I just feel gross because I haven't worked out in the last however long. And tomorrow I'm starting to film for the summer challenge. So I just feel a little gloopity bloopity, but it's all good. I'm not going in there like this though. Like I feel like when I wear shorts, I don't like to wear a bra with it. I like to wear a top, but if I wear leggings, I can wear a bra. I just like to pick one or the other. You do you and you do what feels good to you and your body, girl. And boy too. I feel like boys have just as much body shaming going on as girls. Let's go. Wait, wait, one more thing, one more thing. Should I do this little, this little number? The little 90s knot? Like why even wear a shirt at that point? It's just the size of my bra. I was hanging out with my friend Jan and her little niece was over and she was doing that with her shirt. It was cute. I was like, I used to do that in middle school. I always fill this bad boy up with drinking water. Saves money on the road, saves plastic. Why not? than it was a few weeks ago. It's gonna go for 30 minutes. Crazy row. A human woman 
who's ready to take on the world. I always forget how good exercise makes me feel until I don't do it for a while. I feel amazing. That's what's been missing. I've been in a funk, a dunk, and little things that don't usually bother me have been bothering me. I've just been kind of on edge, a little pissy. And I think it's because I'm feeling a little bad about myself, quite honestly. Not like bad about my body, just, I think I just feel bad that I haven't been taking care of myself and making that a priority. So whatever that is for you, I don't know if exercise is your thing. I mean, exercise, it's just clinically proven to help you in all sorts of ways. But don't over-exercise, you know? Push your body. It's just like food. You don't want to under-eat or over-eat. You just want good balance. Today I did push a little harder. I did 30 minutes on the stair climber and then I did a little weight circuit and I was going to do it twice or three times and I was like, you know what? I feel a little, I feel good. Called it. Feels so good to get back on track. And I'm at 7,000 steps. So I just need 3,000 more steps today. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and get some good. I'm a little hungry after that workout. There's also a Chipotle right here. Is this real life? Maybe I just live in my van in Missoula. I don't even like buy a house. It's just working for me today. And the weather's really nice out so I can sit in my van and edit tonight. Turn my little dimmer light on. Maybe I'll do my electric candle. Set the mood. So yeah, let's go get some and French toast. By the way, no yoking. I've had about four times as much water as I usually drink today. Mainly because I was at Starbucks and I had a restroom available at my leisure. Um, but this mug helps so much. By the way, how good are Matthew's highlights he did in the hair? I was like, hey queen, listen. I want to throw it up in a pony and I want to look like Malibu Barbie from the 90s. Ask and you shall receive. And this lip butter, oh my gosh. I know you're not supposed to put the camera this close to your bare naked face without a filter when you're in your 30s, especially not your late 30s. But hashtag, this is what a late 30s face looks like. Can you handle it? I put on my vitamin C serums. Okay, let's talk, let's talk about body image for a second. I'm noticing changes. Like this little thing wasn't here like two years ago. It's happening and I'm celebrating it. Hello. Hello, beautiful. I've turned my neck a lot in my lifetime. That's what that means. I don't really have crow's feet, but I do have these lines right here. They're getting a little more defined. I have like scarring on my forehead, which I actually don't like, but I also have wrinkles on my forehead. And you know what? That's okay, L look at them. Can you handle them? Can you handle them, American society? Can you? Can you handle my forehead wrinkles? I can handle them. So there. It is weird looking at yourself while you're editing all day. It's easy to look at all the flaws because I'm just staring at my myself all day long. Please baby, control, alt, delete. Jesus, send me an editor. I would love someone to edit my videos eventually. That way I can just live my life, send some footage out to some poor soul who has to edit uh, daily videos. <laughs> I don't want to do that to anybody. I've been just a daily video editor before for other channels and it is, yeah, I started having like mental, like brain zaps. I've Notice too, when I edit with earbuds in, it makes it twice as bad. So I've been trying not to edit with earbuds. That's why editing in my van is so great. I can just blast the volume from my speakers. I don't have to wear headphones. Anyway, we are on a tangent. Let's go. Don't tell any of the tangents we were talking about them. They want to play a little hard to get. They need to make the first move. Oh my God, though, I feel like me again. It's not, it's, it's like a night and day. So that's what was missing for my last three weeks of life was physical movement. Noted. Oh my God. I just navigated a target and it's three minutes away. Do you think, I think I can make myself cry. I think I can. A Starbucks and a Target and a Planet Fitness and a Cracker Barrel and a Chipotle within four minutes of each other. Four minutes. Wait, it's right here. It's literally it's three stores away i just got goose pimples don't call them goose pimples that's disgusting also there's an albertson's superstore if this target does not have groceries but um yes please i will get my steps walking around target thank you very much sometimes i'm too afraid to go hiking like in glacier huh i'm going back there next week and i'm like afraid to go hiking because there are legit bears. You don't go hiking by yourself in Glacier. That's just stupid. But maybe I can meet some hottie with a body. We are at Cracker Barrel. I'm just Cracker Barrel in my door open. Get a little airflow for a minute. It's quite toasty back here. But I don't want bugs to come in, so I'm gonna leave the lights off. But I want to explain to you what I'm eating for 
dinner. It's very exciting. Cold tomato soup, nut thin crackers, and some cheese. I'm living for this breeze though. I'm just sitting here on my bed. One thing I would definitely put in the van is a fan here and a fan over on the other side so I can circulate the air without having the windows or doors open. Anyways, I'll talk to you again when the lights are on. This is awkward. I'm about to eat dinner, but I have a dilemma. I gotta take the peeps to the Easter party if you know what I'm saying. I have to pee if you don't know what I'm saying. Oh, by the way, squirrel. My friend John had a little mini waffle maker in his van and he says he makes eggs with it. So I went into Target because it's like a $10 waffle iron, but I saw this, check it out. You can make little mini egg bites. I feel like you could kind of make cookies in this thing too. Like I could put little oatmeal raisin and banana type concoction in there and it would do something. I used to make pancakes out of oats and banana and water or almond milk. They're quite tasty. And it's under a thousand watts. It's 400 and something watts. So this will be a nice little way to make eggs in the morning. Not going to be the most fun thing to clean, but it won't be the first time I left stinky eggs out on the counter. So we're going to do a tomato basil. I'm just going to drink it cold because hashtag summer, hashtag I don't want to clean dishes, hashtag that life. And I love the pecan nut thins. And I've already eaten a couple cheeses but I have these Gouda cheese. Hello. Yes, they're so good. Just snacking for dinner tonight. We're already in park mode and I need to take a little Pee Wee Herman if you're catching my drift. So I don't want to drive anywhere, but there is a hotel right across the street. I still have about 500 steps to get in. So I'm gonna walk over there like I own the place, take a little Peter Peter pumpkin eater and then come back and eat dinner. It'll be great. Which hotel do we want to take a pinky in the brain in? My place, economy or motel set? I'm gonna say Motel 6. Yes! No! I just wanna take a Peter Pan. It's not too much to ask. I got my cold soup. Isn't gazpacho cold soup? Maybe not. Oops. Is that my husband on the television? Jamie from Outlander. His character is like my type. I don't think I have a type, but it's, he's my type. It's not his physical attributes, it's not his muscles, it is his penis. <laughs> I just love their relationship. She's a pretty independent woman and he's not threatened by that. He nurtures that side of her, but he can also keep her in line when she's getting out of line, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Love that show, love it. Just snacking and watching some TV tonight. I was gonna edit, but I just need to turn my eyeballs off. Well, I mean, I'm looking at a computer, but like the intent staring at a screen while editing is different than enjoying looking at my future husband. <laughs> Jamie, call me. If you made it this far in the video, write Ryan Gosling down in the comments below. And next time on Girl vs. Van, we find our Idaho crystals and find all the pretty wildflowers and beautiful mountaintops on our way to Seattle. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.